Dr. Riz um, said that you can't think about being healthy and eating healthy without putting some effort into it. It's not just going to happen like sitting in your chair at home and <laughs> just healthy food just going to rain down. And you sure as heck aren't getting healthy food at the fast food joints by you. Um, so you want to put some effort into making and preparing healthy food. And it doesn't have to be that complicated and it can be very, very quick. In fact, the things that I say today, that the meals that I'm going to make sound complicated, but they're really very, very simple and take very little time. So the first thing I'm going to make is strawberry vanilla chia seed pudding topped with strawberries, okay? And it's very, very simple. So what you use are chia seeds. Has anybody ever seen chia seeds? Now these seeds used to be um, distributed like chia pets. You'd, you'd waste this valuable nutritional um, food uh, making some kind of grotesque animal by smearing it on a clay head. Um, so these little tiny, tiny little seeds are packed with nutrition. You probably won't find a more nutritious food than chia seeds. The amount of nutrition, protein, fiber, um, omega-3 um, fatty acids are in here. So if you want to have a, um, a, a nutrition packed meal, include chia seeds in your meal. And the other little miraculous thing about them is when you put them in water, they become this little gelatin blob. And that's, that little blob is very important in your, in your health and nutrition. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna make this. Um, so all you do is, you want to place these in the bowl. And you, like I said, you can get all the um, specifics of each thing from the Blue Zones website. Oh, do you, oh, okay, oh, that's right. Um, so then you take a plant-based milk, and that could be anything, almond milk, soy milk, cashew milk, rice milk, anything plant-based with no animal products in it, okay? So you're gonna take your plant-based milk, oh. I'm gonna add a little cinnamon. All the things that I'm using today, and um, in that handout that I gave you, I talk a little bit about the benefits of some of these spices. So really, when you, when you cook plant-based, spices become your life. And that's what enhances all of your food and brings out the true flavor of everything. You don't need fat, you don't need salt, you don't need sugar to really enjoy your food. Uh, initially, it might take you a little bit of time to get used to it and have your taste buds really become who they really were meant to be and not coated with all the stuff that we put in our, in our bodies. But um, spices like cinnamon uh, are really great antioxidants. Um, so I'm gonna add a little bit of cinnamon there. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla. And really when you, when you cook as much as I do, I just kind of measure it out like and then I'm going to add a little maple syrup. And you can substitute date syrup with that if you wanted. Isn't this so cute? <laughs> um, so then all you do is you whisk this. 15 minutes later. Um, no, I'm only kidding. So I'm just gonna whisk this. I should have used my bigger um, bowl. And then you're just going to pour this right over your chia seeds. And I have, hate to say it, but that's, that's basically it. Um, the flavor of the cinnamon and the vanilla will be incorporated. And then what you do, then that's where the magic happens. It just looks like this. And it, then you let it sit. I usually let it sit overnight. And then it becomes a pudding. It's and you're gonna on the counter. Hmm? You said right. overnight the fridge or, yeah. Um I put it in the refrigerator uh, because you have your plant based milk. But it sets like pudding. It sets like pudding. Because of the chia. Right, because the chia it's swells like and in, yeah. and in, and takes all that liquid out. Sort of like that. Um, so we have it prepared, you're gonna get some, and then you can top it with your favorite fruit. And for this recipe, you just slice fresh strawberries and put it right on. This is a great breakfast. 
And I know, see, the way you have to think when you go plant-based, you start eating healthy, is that these foods fill you up because they are full of nutrition. So they're nutrient dense, not calorie dense. You don't need as much to eat in order to fill you up when you're eating foods that don't have fiber and nutrition in them. So a little bit of pudding, chia pudding for your breakfast will fill you up and keep you full until lunchtime. Um, so that when, when Dr. Riz was talking about um, the 80% rule and, not, and, and Maya was talking about the 80% rule is not eating until you're completely full, um, these kinds of foods do fill you up. You gotta let your body tell you when it's full. Okay, so that is the chia pudding. See how easy that is? That didn't take any time. You have breakfast. Not only that, it makes a big batch. So you can have breakfast for several days. So you're already done. You don't have to go out for breakfast now. All right. So the next thing I'm making is a spiced lentil dip. And this dip is really versatile. So you could make it and leave it the way it is and serve it with rice, etc. Or you can blend it up and make a true dip. Or you can make kind of like a Texas caviar type of dip where you're scooping it. Or you can just um, blend it up in a blender. So I'm going to put some onions. It's dehydrated onion. These are actually, I did, I cheated oh, um, actually, oh. for the class. So what I do is I take um, by frozen uh -huh. chopped onions in Kroger in the frozen uh -huh. food section. I usually use these for my demonstrations, but in the one that you're going to taste today, they were made with um, fresh onions chopped up. But that, I like these because in a see this is the quick part you don't have yeah. to be perfect in order to eat healthy you buy frozen um, chopped. frozen onions. chopped so, let me see. and so what you do is just going to brown that up a little bit and then once that gets hot and I'm going to see if I can get this work in here so I'm going to start that up and I am going to do two things at the same time, so watch me. So that's the lentil dip, okay? Spiced lentil dip. I'm gonna let the onions start to cook and warm up. Well, for the next dish that I'm going to do, this is delicious actually, is curry beans. So another very simple dish. So you don't have to be exotic when you eat. So you can eat beans and rice and veggies and you can add all your different spices and you can have a different flavor every single night. So I'm gonna make some curry beans and so th this requires onions as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the onions in here. So for the curried beans, it requires um, some onion, some uh, red kidney beans, whole wheat flour, curry powder, one clove of garlic, and two cups of vegetable stock, one apple, chopped dates, and juice of lemon. And it's that apple makes it really, really sweet. So one thing I wanted to talk about a little bit about, so is veggie broth. So it's one big, one little switch you can make. So if you're currently chicken, um, cooking with chicken broth or beef broth, you can switch to veggie broth. And they have a low sodium kind, and this is right on your grocery store um, shelf. And this is a great switch, so that way you're not adding animal products to any of your food. So, and then you wanna check your ingredients always in everything that you buy. That's a big thing. When you want to start to eat healthy, you really need to check all of your ingredients because you would not be you'd be surprised at how many things they slip in to simple, um, innocent-looking products. So read your ingredients in everything that you buy and make sure that the ingredient list are things that are healthy and that they're not putting in animal products if you don't want to eat animal products um, or uh, preservatives, etc. So just make sure you check your ingredients. So here we go. So back to the lentil dip, I'm going to go ahead and add the add a little bit of flour. And the reason why you add a little bit of flour is because it binds with the onion and really makes it, um, and then all your spices bind with the onion. So then when you add your liquid, it stays um, very flavorful. So what kind of flour are you using? I'm using whole wheat flour. Okay. So I'm going to add two tablespoons of that. And then I'm going to add a cup of, um, I'm going to mix that. So I don't cook with any oil, so I want to bring that up. So the thing about using the frozen onions, it provides its own water. 
So when you're sauteing them or even um, uh, caramelizing them, you don't really need any water um, or oil. So I never I haven't cooked with oil for 10 years. I'm still here. Wow. So I use water or veggie broth as my liquid. So if something starts to stick, then I just go ahead and add some veggie broth. So for this, I want to add a cup of stock. So 365 is the brand name for Whole Foods, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. And you don't need to go to Whole Foods. You can buy all you need to buy in Kroger, um, Trader Joe's, mm -hmm. Walmart. Walmart. Yeah, so you add a little bit of cup stock, and you kind of heat that up. And then I'm going to add um, lentils. And lentils, you could either cook them dried Okay, but these are canned. They're canned lentils. So what did I do? I did frozen onions, some veggie stock, some canned lentils, and lentils are one of the best leg legumes that they're, if you're not e used to eating beans for your digestive system, lentils are the way to go. They're very gentle on your system, and it's a good way to get your legume in. Again, another key blue zone food. Okay, so I added that. And then I'm going to stir in some ginger, some chili powder. I'm gonna add a little lemon juice. Again, spices, spices are the key. And then I'm going to add a little lemon juice. And you don't need any kind of apparatus, but I do this because this prevents the seed from getting into my meal. And it's fun. <laughs> that person that cut me off on the road, I could just squeeze the lemon. Um, and then you can take that lemon and put it down your, your garbage disposal and make your garbage disposal smell wonderful. Okay, so I added the lemon. Did you put the ginger in already? Mm hmm That was in that little spice container. Oh, okay. okay. And basically you just cook this until it boils. And then you boil it down a little bit and it becomes nice and thick. So you can use that either as a main meal, you can put it over greens, you can put it over rice, um, you can put it on pasta, um, or you can use it as a dip. So what I did was I took that and I put it in a little blender and I blended it up and you're gonna get to eat that. And you can serve that with pita bread or vegetables, okay? Healthy, filling meal. Okay, now this one, okay. That baby's talking to me. He's telling me the onions are almost done. I didn't hear that click, 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 click. No, because I didn't have the cover on. So, so that's the lentil dip, okay? And now I'll get back to our regularly scheduled program, which was the curried beans. And um, you're gonna have those over brown rice today. All right, so I'm gonna cook that. Now I'm gonna add some flour, same thing. It's like making a roux, right? Yes, that's it. That's the word I was looking for. It's a little roux. I'm gonna add a little chopped garlic. All of these um, foods are significant antioxidants. They decrease inflammation in your body. Eating processed foods and animal products have been linked to inflammation and to all of our, most of our chronic diseases. Uh, lifestyle related diseases in our country and then I'm going to add some stock this is some stock too so that's why I prepare the food ahead of time I was showing you how easy this is like I'm making three different meals at the same time you can do this on a weekend take a couple of hours and prepare all your food for the week and then you have something healthy Good. Can you smell that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. it smells good. And then you add apple, which really makes it sweet and it really gets soft. So you peeled that apple, right? Yes, I did. I, for the most part, keep the keep them right. I keep the, uh, yeah, the skins smooth. on all the time. Yeah. But for you all, it's hard. Yeah. Then I'm going to take some dates which really are wonderful to, um, so if you're, you have a sweet tooth, 
and sugar is your, your beast, which is mine, um, a simple date will really cut your craving for sugar. But I chop these up, Majul dates. Why Majul? Are they really better? They're more expensive. I like them. <laughs> I buy them in Costco. Tougher and bigger than the egg whites. So these will get all soft and it'll make it really sweet. And then lemon juice. Yeah, I get to squeeze another one. I hope you're hungry. I love that you put sweet and sour in there. Mm -hmm. It's just sweet. Okay, and then I'm gonna add some Beans. Those were your canned kidney beans? Yep, those are my canned kidney beans. So again, you know, okay, so you have to chop the apple. That's it. Everything else, you just... Yum. What spices were in that one again? So this is just um, curry. Curry powder? Mm -hmm. okay. So this requires, um, oh yeah, two tablespoons of curry go in here. Some people don't like curry. And they're not gonna like this. So curry is actually a combination of several different spices, mm -hmm. and that's on your handout. I think your taste buds change because my husband did not use the right curry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, he didn't like most of the fish, but now he eats anything. Keep the coconut in it, and the coconut in it, and it takes it away. Okay, so those are your three recipes, including the, and then four recipes, including the lemon bliss um, bites. So in the recipe book, did they use the convenient food, like the organic Kidney beans. I mean, I love. They them. don't get specific. They oh, just. They don't. Um, yes. I have the recipe printed out. Uh -huh. So Are you. Are they on the website? The Blue Zone mm -hmm. website. Yep. That's you go awesome. look. Click on recipes. Go on www.bluezones.com, and then it comes up. The menu yes. comes up, and it has recipes, and just click. And then I can tell you the. So these are curried, curried curry. beans, spiced lentil dip, and then um, strawberry vanilla chia seed pudding. And Travis has just prepared a delightful meal for you guys. By prepare, you mean uh, microwave? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> You're setting up. Okay, so I just wanted to tell you about um, a couple of the handouts that you have. Mm -hmm. So you can see 30 minutes is very, very short. I can't really cover a lot. So I do one hour classes for free wherever you want me to come. Um, but if you want me to come for like a course or a longer class, like a two hour class, then I do charge for that. So I actually have two class, I have a class coming up that I'm gonna be teaching at Dr. Um, Riz's um, North Texas Vascular Center, it, two consecutive Saturdays in a row. And it's really a kickstart your cl class if you are just beginning or you're interested in more. The class will consist of lecture, videos, um, cooking demos, food sampling, um, lots of information. You'll walk away with, it's four hours total of class time. You'll walk away with a lot. I'm also doing a class this coming Saturday uh, on brain health and um, talking about focusing on the foods that are really good for your brain. Where and is that one? one on Saturday? That is at Central Westside Campus. So it's on the, you should oh. have a handout. So I'm teaching that and then I have another class I started plant, um, plant powered Plano meetup group. So I'm having a free class up at the library up in Plano um, the first Wednesday or Thursday of August. And then we're doing a giant summit next year. Next April, we're bringing in the experts um, and local experts, and we're putting on a summit at the Richardson Civic Center, a two-day event. And basically we'll have the science, and then we'll have a lot of practical knowledge and application. We'll have an expo there, so there will be a lot of exhibitors. Um, providing services and products that are safe and healthy for you. So basically it's a, it's, it's a, it's a healthy living um, uh, summit where we're gonna help people on their way 
or continue on their way wherever you are at. And several people in this room are, will be presenting and doing cooking demos and um, we'll have a social, a couple of socials, uh, lunches provided, uh, breakfast, a light breakfast will be provided. So Is that part of the ticket? Yeah. So um, you can get the, you have little cards, that's, that kind of highlights, so we have 19, no, we have actually 22 speakers and presenters um, so far lined up, so we hope to see you. And um, please enjoy, enjoy um, the food. For that, it's an April, right? Yeah. Hmm? Um, we have friends that would like to be, what do you call it? Exhibitors? Yeah, thank you. Exhibitors? Mm -hmm. Do they contact you? Yeah. Okay. Okay, any questions for um, Maya and uh, Dr. Riz and you want to feed everybody? I want to get a little commercial for uh, Dr. T because I've done these courses before. That's how I learned about Dr. Bernard. That's oh. how I learned about plant based. I didn't know plant based food meant vegetarian. I was never gone. Mm -hmm. But it was almost 10 years ago. And the course was like how to cook. For, my father died of a heart attack, age 52, dancing with my mother, my brother's female son. Mm -hmm. So it was really, it was like how to cook heart health party or something mm -hmm. like that so it was eight weeks two hours each and mm -hmm. we saw those videos and she's a, it's amazing not only do you and that was very good by the way I thought you did a great oh. job but um, not only will we get recipes but Dr. Bernard is he gonna actually show oh yeah Dr. Bernard is coming yeah we have yeah, Dr. he's coming in April but I mean for your class oh yes I have video yeah that's part of the yeah. video he's on the video yeah because I've been like, trained by um, the Dr. physicians committee for responsible medicine it's amazing. Um, that's where I got certification and he um, runs that nonprofit organization and he really dedicates all his time to helping people get healthier and helping them uh, recover from disease um, and, and in fact most of the docs do this um, uh -huh. because it's in their heart and not because they're not they're not getting rich by this but right. nobody's yeah. getting rich in the broccoli or the lentil lobby um, <laughs> from doing this uh, I think everybody in the people that are involved like Diane and Maya and Marla and uh, Dr. Riz um, are all doing this because we want to help we w we know all this information we've benefited from it and we want to share it that's all that's all it is about um, so anyway, enjoy your meal tonight. Any other questions?